So here's the deal. We're trying to figure out what the most meaningful calibration data is and why we're seeing different numbers from different points on our calibration. What happened was in our calibration data, um, for the, we did a number of tests and came up with an average um, in the same gas conditions that we're doing our first experimental run at. 75% hydrogen, 25% argon, 3.5 bar at room temperature. Um, we ended up with a curve of power versus temperature for the mica and one for the glass out. And when we fit equations to those, they work pretty well. Um, when we went to the live run then, <coughs> we had the T mica in the cell. This is a diagram of the cell, the center, the mica supports. The blue is the wire around there, and this is the glass. So we have the glass out sensor and the T mica sensor. When we're doing our experimental runs, we're seeing that the T mica is getting much hotter in comparison to the T glass. Um, the difference between those mica is getting, getting re relatively much hotter, giving us a output signal of about 9 uh, watts of excess energy when the uh, glass sensor is giving us only about 2 to 3. The, uh, we're trying to figure out what the difference is. With this, up here in the calibration, we had isotan wire. We rewrapped the wire with Chalani wire and uh, proceeded on with the live runs then. Uh, we're wondering if maybe it's a point effect where the sensor is just closer to the wire after being wrapped, so it looks hotter. Um, are the coils concentrated more? When we wrapped the Chalani wire on there, we took off the isotan, which is like this number of wraps, and we wrapped on the Chalani wire, and we had to stop one loop short. And what that means is that these wires are taking, or this Chalani wire is kind of compressed into one end of the tube a little bit, which concentrates the amount of energy coming out. I mean, we're putting the same amount of power in, but it's in a slightly smaller volume, and so that could possibly explain it. And to get to the answer there, oh, one more theory, hypothesis, is that there's radiation uh, being lost through the quartz glass. The, the quartz glass doesn't capture the infrared radiation very well. Um, so the heat's, the, when the wire is hotter, more of the heat leaves through the glass. Um, the isotan wire is relatively smooth, whereas the Chalani wire is relatively chunky. And we're trying to figure out if that had something, it's not chunky, I guess I should say. It's, it's, it's a black, so it, it emits more like a black body. It, so we're trying to figure out if that has something to do with it. To help tease that out a little bit, we're going to go back and examine um, the first one runs with a Chalani wire in helium and compare those against the calibration done in helium and see if there's that difference there also before there would have been any excess heat.